Hello, everybody. Um, this is Dev Talk number two here from the developer. And I'm switching into the next slide here. Here's the table of contents. Um, we're going to keep it short. I like um, just doing these like little three bullet points um, for the Dev Talks um, to keep them kind of less than 10 minutes long, um, hopefully. And um, yeah, so let's just do this. And so if you want to just hear about Watch to Earn, we'll skip this part. But yeah, here's a personal update. Um, so I recently got this job at a distribution center slash warehouse. Um, the pay is quite good, and I'm planning to use some of that paycheck uh, to purchase more watch to earn from um, the decks and also uh, to do more marketing. Um, I literally just got my <laughs> my card. Uh, what's it called? Card info stolen, like, literally. So I'm kind of fuming at the moment, <laughs> but uh, I'll eventually figure that out. And I'll eventually have the money to uh, to do this. But yeah, it's just one thing after the next seriously um but yeah so uh, next point here i'm currently in between spots and as i said in the discord i suffer from quite severe uh, mental health issues um to the point where i had to go to the hospital um a few days ago or maybe like a week or so now um but now i'm back on medicine um and i'm trying to get better take better care of my mental health for myself first obviously and also for you guys because i know you guys rely on me to run the project and i can't just be um, absent every so often but just know that sometimes i might have to take a break um and hopefully it's just a few days break but yeah the mental health stuff is extremely serious so try my best anyway um next slide here so the switch from tv shows to movies when we, when we properly return on the 1st of August, we will be switching to predominantly to predominantly movies from TV shows. Uh, that's a typo error. Um, the main reason for this switch is because it's surprisingly difficult to recall shows well enough to give varied uh, trivia questions that are not easily found on the internet. Switching to movies, it will be much easier for me to rewatch the content than an entire show. So yeah, so I just realized that there's not too many shows that I know front to, front to back. And even if that's the case, it's like I just don't remember them that well. So it's like when it came to SpongeBob, when it came to Naruto, like even with the Naruto, like I had to, well, I still have two more to finish. Um, but in total, there's 50 questions. There's 50 questions about Naruto. And it's like, that's very difficult to do, especially if you're not trying to use the ones that are just straight off the internet. Um, so, excuse me. Um, if I can just watch, um, if I could just watch a movie, a two-hour movie, it's much easier for me to uh, rewatch the content and then write um, maybe uh, what I think it's twenty-five questions for five uh, for five challenges per per show or per movie. Um, so, but that that can be changeable. So it'd be um, four videos, four challenges uh, per show or per movie. Uh, but we'll we'll just see about that. Uh, but yeah, so we're definitely gonna switch to movies, and so. The secondary reason is that movies allow us to touch uh, different series and franchises that have the most nostalgia in people's minds. So as you can see on the right here, um, we're going to have um, Thor, Nemo, Lion King, and Iron Man first. And so uh, I've decided to first touch Marvel and the Disney Pixar franchises simply because, you know, those are the most beloved um, franchises out there. So And there's literally so many movies on each side. So it's like, you know... You might as well and then afterward i think we might touch uh, some dreamworks movies so i believe the the first one i'm going to do is shrek uh i would like to do that soon but yeah so just movies like this um i think they're gonna be a tad bit more iconic than um shows like naruto or spongebob because like yes even though those are extremely iconic shows and slash anime um you know it's just people might know of them but it's like they might not necessarily know know uh what goes on and that type of stuff so um you know making entire challenges of naruto um is very exclusive like it's, it doesn't have a big uh brand a big uh target audience i guess you can say but if i make uh challenges of iron man of nemo uh there's no question that i'm touching a far uh larger uh base so next slide here um, the reason why I believe this could work, and this meaning, um, switching from TVs to movies, uh, TV shows to movies, uh, is because of channels like Cinema Sins. Uh, they've been making videos about separate movies for literally nine years now. 
I don't intend to do Watch to Earn for that long, but it gives a good indication that this di- uh, new direction does have an audience. Um, and yeah, so it's like these guys literally, even to this day, even though their channel has declined a little bit um, since its peak maybe a few years ago, but still, like e- every video pulls in at least five digits, six digits worth of views. So it's like, yeah, that's that's that's. That, that, that kind of shows that there's still some interest in um, just movie reviews, movie talks, or anything movie-related. Um, the main drawback that sets um, Watch to Earn apart from CinemaSins is that our viewers will have to set up a crypto wallet that has a Binance Smart Chain enabled. However, because our challenges only have one winner, one winner each so far, there's not a need to have tens or hundreds of thousands of, of views per video for the channel to be lucrative. And that's kind of the the great point about it. Because we have the Watch to Earn token, uh, we don't necessarily need as big of uh, an audience to 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 you know for the videos to be watched by. Um, even now, pretty much all of our videos got answered um, correctly answered within a few hours of the a few hours of them dropping, um, excluding a few different. Uh, videos, but yeah, the vast majority of them have been answered uh, very quickly. So, you know, if we just have 10, 15, 100 more um, active participants, you know, that's pretty much all uh, we kind of really need, but then everything else is really access. So, next point here, and the final one the Bushi incident. Lastly, I'd like to address the Bushi incident. Bushi was our very first winner at Watch to Earn. I tried telling him to join our Discord for the most recent updates, um, but uh, because we are because we are in the middle of our break, I didn't check the YouTube channel uh, for notifications or for answers and stuff like that. He tried answering questions for a shipping and challenge a few days ago. A, a few days went by without a response from me, and he unsubscribed. I'm pretty sure we had 11 subscribers. Now we have 10, and I'm pretty sure that's that's him. But don't be like Bushi. Um, Meaning that completely respectfully. Um, if you're watching this without being a member of our Discord, you're making a mistake. We have a Discord, YouTube, Instagram, Medium, and TikTok being managed by one single person who also has a full time job. So I do not have time to update them all in a timely manner. Discord will be the go to spot for new updates regarding Watch to Earn. So it's very serious that if you guys want to participate in Watch to Earn, to join the Discord. You don't have to be an active member, you don't have to speak in there, but I always do updates on Watch to Earn um, there first, and then it's going to be the Instagram. So I'm working on those YouTube posts. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Um, but, but yeah, so you're going to see that first. So. Don't be like Bushi. Use this as an example. Um, you know, just a lack of information made him confused, and you know, unfortunately, he, I'm pretty sure unsubscribed. So, Bushi, if you're watching this, we love you here. Uh, you know, join back. But um, but yeah, it's just I, I kind of really told you to, to join our Discord, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, so I'll I like to be doing these dev talks. Um, definitely once a month i'd like to do maybe twice a month possibly even more um just to address different things um but yeah i'll definitely be making one soon in the next few days hopefully um before the first of august but you know with me when i say certain things uh we'll see (laughs) so thank you guys for watching um or listening i guess to me for the second dev talk um yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace